The criminal drama Florida Man on Netflix takes viewers on a wild ride as it searches for a hidden treasure. Mike, who was born and raised in Florida, made every effort to emigrate. He returns years later in quest of Deli, the gangster Mike's girlfriend whom he owes money to. He decides to help Deli find the gold coins so that they may flee after she tells him about the potential hoard that could be worth nine figures. Nevertheless, when more participants join their plans, things turn sour. What happens at the show's conclusion is as follows. Spoilers ahead. Mike has her once had a gambling problem. He sought treatment for his addiction before losing his career and wife, but not before. He is currently in debt to Moss Yankov, a criminal, and in love with Deli, Moss's girlfriend. Deli takes off on her own after pleading with Mike to come along. Moss sends Mike to Florida to find her there and bring her back as she's gone there. The last place Mike wants to go is Florida, but with the prospect of having a significant portion of his debt forgiven, he pursues Deli. When he finds her, she reveals that she discovered a hidden treasure from Gil, who tried to trade it for his life before Moss killed him. She believes Gil wasn't lying and intends to find the chest of gold and ride off into the sunset with it. But she can't do it alone. Initially, Mike refuses to feed into her fantasy, so Deli calls his father for help. By the time Mike discovers that the gold is real, his father, Sonny, is in on the entire plan. He doesn't trust Sonny and worries that his father will cheat them and take all the gold for himself. Meanwhile, Mike's ex-wife, Iris, tracks him down to Florida, hoping that it will lead her to find some dirt on Moss and have him arrested. Who has the gold? A Spanish ship carrying a chest of gold money drowned a couple centuries ago close to the Florida coast. Years after discovering the penny in a fish as a child, Mike made the connection between it and his gambling addiction at a support group. Gil Franco also belonged to that group. Gil, a compulsive gambler, was compelled to seek out the wealth. In the hopes that it would help him, he took this chance, and it worked. He discovered the gold, but Moss discovered him before he could cash it in. He attempted to inform the mobster about it, but Moss dismissed it as another gambler's ruse to buy time. Thus, he executed Gil. Delhi overheard the exchange when Moss was torturing Gil. She made the decision to travel to Florida and obtain the gold after she fled. But Mike followed her before she had a chance to investigate. She pretended to be dead in an effort to get him off her trail. But, when things didn't go as planned, she had to tell him what was going on. Deli first assumed Gil had hidden the gold in his boat. Mike begins to think that there was never any gold there when they don't discover anything. Then, though, he learns about Gil's truck. When Deli eavesdropped on their conversation, Gil named a street. Mike tracks it down and discovers that Gil's truck was parked there and towed away. It is now at the bottom of the sinkhole that the city is going to fill, which only gives Mike and Deli a couple of days. Deli lets Sonny in on the plan which proves to be the wrong move because Mike anticipated that his father would want the gold for himself. And he's proven right. Moss, Deli, and Mike eventually drive to the location and pull the truck out of the sinkhole, after all other strategies have failed. When they open it, not a single gold coin is to be found inside. Moss anticipated this, but Mike and Deli are surprised. Moss tries to kill Mike now that he is no longer useful to him, but Deli steps in, Moss is killed by gunfire, and she urges Mike to flee with her. Mike decides to go to Iris because she was shot during the confrontation at the dock. After a few weeks, everything calms down. Iris begins working with Moss's sister after being employed by the FBI. After divorcing her husband, Mike's sister begins a new life. Clara and her husband lose the motel, which was never really theirs when the real owner arrives. Sonny is in jail for his role in the transportation of drugs through the state, and Mike's running his bar. For a while, Mike forgets about the gold, believing it was a fantasy. But then, the news on the TV changes everything. Buzz, one of Sonny's men, is found dead in the river, killed by a python. The report mentions that Buzz was wearing alligator shoes. Mike remembers that Buzz had been passionate about buying the shoes and an airboat on getting the money from the gold. Because he had both things, he got the money, which means the gold was found. As suspected, Sonny had cheated Mike and Deli out of their share. He, Buzz, and Ray Ray got the gold out the night that Butch blew up near the church. Do Mike and Deli end up together?
Mike has nothing left after Delhi, Iris, and the gold are all gone. Up until Patsy reminds him that he still has time to hunt for Delhi. Even though she didn't tell him where she was going, she must have left some sort of hint. He only had to wait for it. One of their boats is missing from the pier, as Mike observes. Delhi might be involved, according to his suspicion. He locates the boat, where he discovers her and the gold. She found the gold in what manner? Delhi decided to leave town after realizing they had been on a fruitless search when the truck showed up empty. However, somewhere along the way, she must have made the connection that Mike did three weeks later. While prepping to get the truck out of the sinkhole, they noticed some water around the gear. Mike later realized that the water meant the gear had been used before. Delhi must have realized that, too, knowing that Sonny had taken the gold. It was a truck full of gold, and because it had been only a day, she knew that Sonny and his men couldn't have had to move it around yet. What was the most obvious and secure place to stash the gold? It is the same place where she suspected Gil had hidden it. Inside the boat. This was great for Delhi because she didn't need to worry about the transport. She could steal the boat and leave. That's what she does. She is relieved that Mike pursued her because she anticipated someone would do so soon. He stares at her and smiles when she queries if he came for her the gold. He had actually come looking for her, the discovery of the gold was merely a welcome bonus. Sonny is the only person who is aware of the gold, and even if he were to cheat him, he wouldn't do anything to hurt his son. We can therefore conclude that Delhi and Mike have a happy ending. She is relieved that Mike pursued her because she anticipated someone would do so soon.